from your breaking news and weather authority on Fox Rochester. This is 13 Wham News at 10. A Wayne County woman is being honored tonight after saving a man's life on the side of the road in Walworth. Molly was just an, a citizen who was driving by, saw someone struggling, total stranger, uh, opened up her window and said, you okay? Good evening, I'm Matt Malloy. Karen is off. A SOTUS woman happened upon a Walworth man suffering a heart attack while riding his bicycle back in June. And with the help of a 911 dispatcher over the phone, she saved his life with no training. 13 WAM's Daniel Finkelstein has the exclusive story tonight as the two are reunited and that woman was honored for her heroic actions. Incredible story, Daniel. Absolutely, Matt. Uh, because of Molly Ames, Mark Rysick is alive and well, able to enjoy his six grandchildren and, of course, riding his bike. You don't get to meet your hero often, he said, but that's exactly what happened. Mark Rysick, former teacher, grandfather, and athlete. Like, uh... I used to bike 160 miles a week on average, so yeah, yeah very been doing it for 30 years. I, I've been do I actually am a triathlete. That's why he was shocked one day when he found himself struggling 16 miles into a bike ride. I've had no prior indication of any health problems with my heart whatsoever. Um, no family history of it, um, and so it was uh, devastating. Reisig was experiencing the beginning of a heart attack, just as Molly Ames was driving by. The way he got off his bike seemed a little distressed. He seemed like he was struggling, and something in my head just told me that something wasn't right. Ames called out to Reisig, who told her to call 911 right before losing consciousness. Dispatcher Megan Williams answered that call. So I knew then we had to do CPR, um, and really her helping and being calm with me so I didn't have to, you know, get her to do that. She was very willing to do that, and that helps a lot. That's really how it was able to get done. So I would, I would hope anybody would do that. I really do. I would, I would hope anybody would do that. Ames would perform CPR for seven minutes until the ambulance arrived. By the time medical professionals were able to get Rysik's heart started, he'd been in cardiac arrest for nearly half an hour. But because of her, Mark is back on his bike. She helped a total stranger. And without thinking about whether, you know, how, how much it would impact her life, she just acted and acted exactly the right thing at the, exactly the right time. And I can't, I can never, never repay and never thank her enough. Rysik encourages everyone to take the time to learn CPR. We'll have resources for you to learn more on our website, 13wham.com. Matt.